Spoons, mm. a 3-0 victory, a lively encounter, but how pleased you to come out on top after that one? Yeah, very pleased. Um, carried on where we left off last week at Ipswich um, in terms of goal scoring, but we've come through with a clean sheet today, which was, was nice. It's the first time. Um, but I, I just... The, the whole game, I thought we was competitive in every element, in every department. I thought that the players won the front foot. Um, all right, we had a slow start. They could have been, you know, possibly a goal up inside the first five minutes. Um, but Brad made a, a fantastic save. Uh, and then we settled down and we played some football. But credit to the players that, you know, they come through that little sticky spell. Like we said about Ipswich last week, that spell lasted longer last week. But it's, you know, it's all growing for them and maturing into footballers, learning to, you know, you, you can't be on top all the time, you have to tough it out. And uh, and they certainly did that today, so really pleased with that. Yeah, real togetherness. Was that the most pleasing aspect of it, when they had to stick together? Like you say, a few challenges have gone flying in and the referee trying to keep a lid on it at times, but there's a collective unity about them that's today. That's it, I think that's the word now, collective. There's a real collective in there at the moment. And, uh, you know, it's stuff we've worked on. Um, but sometimes that, that just comes from players getting on with one another and, and being part of the team. And, uh, you know, there was a, a little altercation between a couple of players today and, and they all got round and defended one another and that. And you need that, you know, there was a, it was a feisty game at times. And, uh, you know, we played our part in that. And that hasn't always been the case, you know, pre-season where we, we said to them, you know, we lack that competitive edge. But, you know, what they are, they're honest and they've worked so hard. You know, they're a lot of double sessions. And um, we've had to do that to, to help the team improve. And, um, you know, we've had a we've had a good start, but a tough game at Charlton. And uh, we, we start work on that again on Thursday. Yes, finally just reflect on the three goals this afternoon. A striker in form in Junior Dixon, one from the spot. And, and typically here, one sliding in down the middle of the post where you want your, your, goal, your goal scorer to be operating. Definitely. And possibly could have had a couple more, but, you know, I don't want to put too much pressure on him. That. It's been tough on him. But he's, you know, he, I'm really pleased for him because he was given a little bit of criticism. Mm -hmm. uh, start of the season, felt it was deserved. And... You know, I'm only just getting to know him because he came near the end of the season and uh, I want to see how he'd respond to a little bit, you know, just the old poke the bear, see how it responds. And he's responded really well. You know, he's uh, said he's been doing extras and that. He's lost weight, he looks sharper. Just his old demeanour is different. And, uh, yeah, I've been really, really pleased with him. He is a goal scorer. You put the ball in the box and he try and get on the end of it. And Tommy Fogarty amongst the goals as well. Big old centre half goes and plants a, a header from a corner, which is what you want to see. Yeah, yeah, we've been on about scoring from set plays and making sure we don't concede from set plays. So uh, we've done both today. So <laughs> really, really pleased. Really pleased with them. And Brad, you know, made one or two great saves, double saves. Uh, and uh, we've got a clean sheet and we managed to get everyone on the pitch, which was, was nice. Good day's work. Well done, Spooth. Cheers, Dale. Thanks a lot.